Hi there, so today I'm just going to be doing a review of a new product by Maybelline and it is this thing. This thing. It's basically a balm and blush in one. It's in like a funky little, little, what do you call this? Do very well at describing this. You've got the top, that makes sense, that's the right word to use, top. And then you've got the product there in like a ball. So they're very kind of similar to the EOS uh, lip balms. A bit gimmicky. Definitely caught my eye on the display because I was like, whoa, what is that? Now I have the shade Shimmering Bronze and I did actually have another one which was like a peachy shade. I got two because I wanted to just try them out. But I have no, like literally the peachy one has just absolutely gone a well. I've got no idea where it's gone. I did get to try it before it disappeared though. Opinions are the same of both. I think the packaging is cute. I can see that maybe younger <coughs> um, teenage girls may be attracted to this. When it comes to the product, I'm not liking it and I'll tell you why. I don't like this as either a lip balm or as a blush. I don't like it as a lip balm because for me I just find it too oily. I don't you can't see anything. It's a very sheer shade, as was the peach one. Neither of them had any kind of colour impact on the lips or the cheeks. I applied it to my cheeks, it moved my foundation that was underneath around. I need it to be a very oily product, so that's probably why it moved my foundation around. Um there wasn't really any colour payoff, it just kind of added a bit of a oily smear to my cheek, which that was not the look I was going for. That's what I'm definitely trying to stay away from. On both counts, I didn't like it as a lip balm. It felt uncomfortable on my lips and no colour payoff, which I'm not bothered about with a lip balm. Sometimes you just want a nourishing lip balm. It was not nourishing. I didn't like it on my cheeks. No colour payoff. Just made me look like an oily beast. Yes, I think you've got the picture here. I'm not a fan of these. And I think they're about $4.99. There's five different colours in the range. Let me just go back to the price. $4.99. That is definitely a rip-off. It's not worth it at all. If I were you, I would stick to the baby lips if you if you like them. And just buy a cream blush, maybe. One that's gonna actually stay on your cheeks and have some colour to it because this has no colour. I'd definitely say this is more of a lip balm. If you're into baby lips, maybe you'll like it. I was never a huge fan of baby lips anyway, so I don't know, maybe I just, it's not for me. Sorry about the little rant, but giving you my honest opinion as always. Well, uh, yes, that's it. Why am I feeling so awkward right now? I feel so awkward. Thank you as always for watching and I'll be back soon with more videos.